Hello there YouTube, I uh, wanted to showcase one of my inventions. Uh, this here is a um, capacitor flashlight that's ch charged by solar panels in the back and uh, I have a schematic for it right here. Hopeful, hopefully you can see it. I'm gonna bring it to light a little bit. Okay, so what we have here is four capacitors. They're um, 2.7 volts, uh, 350 farad Maxwell capacitors. They, they go for about eight dollars a piece. Um, and we have a series of three switches. One switch is connected to the voltmeter, and uh, it sh when you flip it, it shows you uh, how much voltage is left in the capacitors. The second switch is connected to U USB charger, and uh, the third switch is connected to the dual thief uh, circuit as you can see here and um, you need a high frequency NPN transistor and uh, 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 you, you need a little toroid and I'm using a one inch toroid and a 30 gauge enamel an wire and uh, anyway so this is the flashlight over here let's flip some switches so the first switch is the voltage shows you how much voltage is left in there the uh, second switch is this USB charger over here I took that from a little crank um, charger from Amazon the crank was no good so I took the USB charger out uh, and here's an uh, this reflector is from a three dollar flashlight from Walmart I just cut it with a hacksaw and uh, let's see how bright this baby is. As you can see, it's very bright, and uh, so it, it works great. And the, of course, the advantages of using capacitors instead of uh, batteries is that capacitors can be recharged uh, over a million times. So, so there's no reason for this flashlight to ever fail. So. Uh, 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 I'm only aware of one uh, flashlight that was uh, had capacitors inside and it was discontinued. So I wanted to build one myself. Let's let's open it up and see um, how it looks on the inside. So um, the case is made out of a tackle box for lures and stuff from Walmart. This is inside. Um, I used a bunch of twist uh, connections could have soldered uh, these wires together that would have made this project cheaper and uh, here's the jewel thief component right here that's the little toroid and uh, there's a little, little transistor you have to use a, uh, a high frequency NPN transistor and this thing is the diode uh, that's coming from the solar panels anyway Hopefully you enjoyed this video.